checking out something sweet this time. In fact, we're checking out two sweet things because we're going to check out Raisinets and Cherry Nut M&Ms. Strawberry. Oh, strawberry. <laughs> My bad. Strawberry Nut M&Ms. <laughs> um, now, Raisinets, we've essentially had Raisinets before, but they're something you can regularly get up here. Um, which is why we kind of bought them. And I don't know when the last time I actually had an official Raisinette was. God, I would, it would have been a long, long, right. long time ago. Um, but if you look around and you're really, really searching for it, I, you're not going to find it in grocery stores. You're not going to, you might find it in some convenience stores. I have found American chocolate bars in some of the convenience stores. So I guess to whoever the distributor is, maybe you can get that. But I mean, in specialty stores, you can probably find Raisinettes here in Canada. Not easy but possible. But at the same time, we never see them. So we picked up Raisinets just to see if they are the same as we remember. And what do they, what do we have? Um, what's the? Glossettes. Glossettes, yes. Glossettes is what we have up here, which is everywhere. And of course the competition to Glossettes would be M&M's. We both like M&M's. Yes. And we have a ton of flavors. We, we have caramel, yeah. we got um, pretzel, uh, peanut, almond, regular chocolate. Um, they've had all sorts and some specialty things that come out different times, but. But we never had Strawberry this. nut has never been up here. You like the peanut M&M's. I do. That, a lot. That's my. my I'm not so big. I can eat it, but I'd rather have the plain ones. But I'm interested in the strawberry flavor. That's why I want to try this one. We're having this one now. We should do the raisins. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> this is just raisins and things. We don't want to wreck our palate. This one is hard to open. Here we go. Oh, this one's hard to open. You open it. Well, I could have opened the M. <laughs> could have, eh? Sticking to me. All right. That's all we need to do because it's got a handy, trusty opening thing I here. I like that. That's it. Oh, oh. So just get some out. Oh, so yeah, it's essentially chocolate covered raisins, which is what you'd expect. I got big ones. I got little turds. Well, mine, they're two stuck together. Oh. Look, look at this. I don't even think there's a raisin in that. No, it's probably just chocolate. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's just chocolate. Oh, yeah, all right. Am I gonna get a raisin? <laughs> They're good. I'm not getting much raisin flavor out of it though. Yeah, not much different than a gloss hat. No. Yeah. Made with real fruit. So they're healthy. The California raisins are in here. What? <laughs> Alright. Whatever. Raisinets, it's chocolate covered raisins. If you've had chocolate covered raisins, they taste like raisinets. Very good. Alright. Yeah. Here we go. The real reason for this video. They're green! Woo, I'm having a pink. pink one. Can't smell anything. No. Wait, I'm not. Whoa! Whoa! I can't, no, it's too low, you can't see. Holy grow. Enjoying the shit out of these. Wow. I don't even mind the nut. 
So it's like a regular peanut M&M. So it's got that standard texture that, you know. Oh no, these were limited edition. Aww. But I'm guessing they've infused the chocolate with strawberry flavoring. Mm -hmm. Because there's no extra, no. you know, layer of something in here. It's just candy shell, chocolate, and then peanut. Mm -hmm. These are dangerous. I'm trying to think. What? A, what is that strawberry flavor? It's. Pot of gold. Yeah. If you ever have, you know, those box assorted chocolates and there's a strawberry one, mm -hmm. that's this flavor. That's definitely this flavor. And I like those. And you like those. So the strawberry cream is the one I'm thinking mm -hmm. of, right? It's definitely those. For, and I'm not talking about the really expensive one. I'm talking about the, you know, the cheap basic ones. That's the type of flavor, strawberry flavor that you get out of these. So if you really like that, I guess I get no more. There's more in the factory, isn't there? Clearly, Leslie likes them. <laughs> and she's letting me have one. <laughs> They're really good. I like these a lot. Now they need to make these without the nut. And I like them even more. Yeah, I don't know. I like the strawberry cream chocolates. I don't know if I kind of, like, I'm really digging this. I like them. It's not that it's bad. They're delicious. <laughs> yeah. <Two>. I, <laughs> I like the nut portion. That's not a problem. I just don't know. Yeah. I'm not feeling them. I am, so it works out. Yes, honestly, if I had to pick between the two, I'd probably go with the Raisin Nuts. Though I'd probably pick that because it's limited edition and only from the U.S., so. Yeah. And I like that they're pink. Cute. Yeah, they come in pink, red, and green. Yeah, just three colors. Uh-oh. Uh oh. What does that mean? I'm says, nervous now. It's partially produced with genetic engineering. Why do you need to genetically engineer your M&Ms? Oh. I don't know. It's probably the peanuts or the cocoa. But yeah, uh, definitely both of these things get thumbs up from us. Um, Leslie loves the M&Ms. I did until I read that. No, I still like them. Weird. I've never seen that on a. Yeah, it's right there. Oh. Because they have to put that on their packaging. <clears throat> so that's a thing in the. Wait, this is like a U.S. thing. It's a yeah, which is silly because they probably pretty much have to put that on everything that has corn in it. Oh. Because you see, the corn we have now has been genetically engineered. Mm. Ever since you know the corn that originally was wasn't even edible. So, to get edible corn, you had to genetically engineer it to edible corn. Hmm. Okay, they, did, they, they did that a long time ago, so. That's another discussion for another day. Anyways, yes, our genetically engineered candy. Yay, genetic thumbs up. engineering. Thumbs up to genetically engineered candy. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, again, the strawberry M&Ms are a limited edition, so I can't even really say, hey, Great USA because you may not even be able to get them anymore. We will go back and we will search for them. <laughs> no, no. We will go out and we will just go places and if they have things, we will buy them. We are not searching for anything. 
Yes, with with our GPS that doesn't work across the border. You can't punch in strawberry nut M and M's into no, the GPS. But you can't go searching for something if you're like not going to be able to get back. If there's any viewers in the U.S., tell me if they still have them. That's all. Well, there you go. That's true. Yeah. If it had ended up being non-limited edition and ended up in Let the regular M&M &M, uh, that you see every day in the convenience store, let us know. Um, that way we, we can definitely pick it up when we're there. If they are no longer available, well... Tell me that too. Yeah. Such is life. We will... We'll find something else. We'll, yeah, we'll find something else. We always do. <laughs> Anyways, let us know. Are you a big Raisinette fan in the U.S.? Or are you more into M&M's, whether it be strawberry nut or otherwise? Love to hear from you. Comment down below. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.